It's a rare form of cancer, but many doctors say they're seeing rates of thyroid cancer on the rise over the past few years. And now a new study is highlighting some factors that could put more people at risk. Joining us this morning from the Cancer Treatment Centers of America is our friend Dr. Jack. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. So Rod Stewart recently had thyroid cancer. Mm -hmm. Yes, he was, and he was treated very successfully and was cured from this. So it's very good for him to be able to find this early and to be able to treat because he was so dependent on his voice for his career. Very important to be able to have that addressed. Who is most at risk for this? It's very hard to say, but usually uh, young women are because they tend to develop thyroid abnormalities either through pregnancy or something else. But it's very hard to say who is going to actually develop this because it's very difficult to find. It's fairly rare, mm -hmm. but you're seeing growing numbers. Why do you think more people are being diagnosed with thyroid cancer? It's hard to say. We're not really clear why more patients are developing this. but. Part of it may be related to our ability to detect cancers earlier. So the ability to find nodules on scans and so forth, the ability to be able to detect things through radiographic scans and examinations can is probably one of the reasons. So detectability. So better technology yeah. is what's helping. I, I'm sure there's no good cancer, but if there was, this one would be a, a fairly good one to get because it's very curable. Very curable because the thyroid is very accessible, and usually when it's found early enough, you can remove the thyroid, take a medication called radioactive iodine itself, which concentrates in the thyroid and any thyroid tissue that's left behind, and that can, be, that can eliminate any residual disease. What are some of the symptoms? What can people look out for? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you may have a lump sensation that's in your throat, maybe feeling that you have something that's uh, difficult to, sometimes it's difficult to swallow, sometimes you're having uh, pressure sensations itself, um, and rarely will it, you find something that's large enough to where it's causing voice changes and so forth. Mm -hmm. And changes in your voice mm -hmm. as yes. well, something else that you'll want to watch out for. And um, the risk factors, exposure to radiation, family mm -hmm. history of goiter. What exactly is a goiter? So a goiter is what happens when your body becomes deficient in iodine. In certain parts of the world, uh, people don't have iodinized salt, which is why we I I put iodine in our salt in the United States and England and so forth. The um, incidence of goiters are much greater and in parts of the world where they don't have iodine-rich foods, then the thyroid enlarges. And once it enlarges, it becomes like a large mass in the neck. It's not cancerous, but it may be a uh, concern to some when they don't have the appropriate amount of iodine necessary to, to <coughs> supplement their diet. And this is one of those things, too. If you go in for, for something else, mm -hmm. uh, th this can be discovered uh, with, with tests for other things. That's right. If you have head and neck cancer or if you had lymphoma and they have to do scans of your head and neck region or thyroid region, then they can also find the uh, cancer itself. Mm -hmm. It's reassuring to know that as technologies evolved and made thyroid cancer e more easy to detect, it's also helped with treatment yes. and you know made this one more easy to beat. Yes. Well, Dr. Absolutely. Jack, thank you so much for being here. Again, the symptoms you should be looking out for: lumps that can be felt through your skin on your neck, changes to your voice, difficulty swallowing, or pain in your neck and throat. If you experience any of these symptoms. Good idea to get checked out by your doctor. Cancer Treatment Centers of America has a special offer for our Fox 23 viewers. A free subscription to the quarterly magazine, Cancer Fighters Thrive. Just head over to fox23.com, click on the Fox box, and search Cancer Fighters Thrive. To sign